What's going on YouTube? Not your average hybrid back with another vid. And you know, it's another RC car video. Pretty much in depth. Um, um, pretty much the RC car life. Pretty much what came in the box. How to set everything up if you're new to it. And pretty much the updates on that thing. But let's get straight into it. Okay, so like I said in my other video, this is the Trex, it's Bandit. I got it from my local hobby shop. As you can see, it's rated to hit 35 miles per hour, 55 plus kilometers per hour. Top qualifier, 2.4 gigahertz radio system. Waterproof and ready to drive. You see the price I paid for, 160. Top prop. See what everything comes in here. So everything that pretty much comes in here is they pretty much give you all this extra stuff, you know, booklet. There's the stickers. This is pretty much the warranty registration. Stickers. Switch it up. Um, I have no clue what these are for. Uh, you can let me know in the comments below if you know what these are for. I have no clue. Got a bag of them. And whatever this thing is, like a foam stop. So I came in this bag. Um, so this pretty much like tools. They give you all the tools you pretty much need to work on your RC car. Now I told you to take off the wheels. Um, some of those wrenches right there you used to take apart your gearbox and gearing, pinion gear and all that other stuff. So it's cool that they include all that. Um, just the easy setup tips. And I guess the instruction manual, pretty thick as you can see. Take through everything. Quick starter guide, no instructions, you know. Just get you around any problems or you want to know how to set it up. I mean, it's pretty self explanatory. I really didn't need it to figure out how to, you know, get everything set up. Um, this is another gear. Um, this is actually what came on the car. I uh, switched it out already, but it also comes with another gear you can put on there for um, faster top speeds. But it's only recommended for like low, even ground, straight roads, no off roading, you know. But I already switched it out. You know, I wanted to go fast. Okay, yeah, more extra um, pins and screws. I actually need another one of those uh, pins because, uh, eh, I'll tell you in a little bit. But yeah, I'll actually need another one of those pins. So I'll keep those nearby. And just some extra stuff, just tiny different batteries and charge they have. And that's pretty much it for that. that. And pretty much what you need, you know, you can't just buy the RC car. Especially if you're new, you will need this charger. Easy Peak Traxxas branded um, 4 amp, 40 watts. Fish charger. This ran me sixty dollars, as you can see. Thing came in the box. This is the charger right here itself. Got the lipo charge butter uh, button. You do store fast balance, and you got the lipo and other type of battery. That's your charger, right? charge status. I'll plug it in for you guys. So you guys can get it. Pretty much a good look how it works. Get it right here. What's up? Yeah, you pretty much want to charge your battery. You pretty much just plug it in the, down the bottom right there in that port right there. Let me show you guys. So I do this with one hand. Won't be charging just yet, as you see, as my battery power is pretty much fully charged. This Nympho battery, as you can see, Oop, uh, that right there. 
Make sure you got it on the right battery type, and all you pretty much want to do is just press and hold this blue button, hit a beep, and it'll pretty much be charging up. So that's pretty much the charger, pretty self explanatory. You can kind of hear it. It's the fan light. And then when it's done um, charging, it'll beep about three times, you know, boop, 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 boop. you know it's done charging, you take it off, and that's some fun. And also, that battery that's being charged is the Traxxas PowerCell 3000 milliamp 8.4 volt battery. This is, I guess, one of the cheaper um, options that, um, that they had. I just wanted to, you know, get it running. It's the first RC car, like I said, so I just wanted to, you know, get the ball rolling. And this was $35.99. So until it's probably about like 250 for everything included. Uh, this is the you know remote comes with you know steering trim. Make sure that's right there on that dot. Make sure it's you know going straight. Switch it on and off with this button right here. On, yeah. on switch it off, off. Self explanatory, nice good phone piece. Now on to the updates and damages on this thing. Okay, so first things first. Remember when I said I needed a new um, pen? Yeah, this is what happened to my Sheesh. pen. Don't ask me how. I was just driving one one day and it's, you know, it's on like that. Then you know, I was attached back there. Right there on that pen. So, you know, I was just driving. I guess the wind picked it up. And it was just, you know, riding like this. So I guess the force of it really just did that to it. So I will be using another one of these pens to uh, secure it. Glad to give you more than more than enough. So this would be pretty much be trash. Throw it in the trash now, but yeah, that's one thing that I guess pretty much broke is the one of those pens to hold it on. This is the cover for it's still in pretty good shape, little bent, but who cares? I took the little tracks and sticker off, put the little spoiler king decal in there. I got that for my for my car. Um, second thing is that well, I guess it's normal wear and tear. It's just you know the wheels are pretty bald. And on this wheel, I don't know if it's normal, but it looks like you feel me? Like the rim is sticking out like is that normal Sheesh. i gotta push the, the tire back on there let me know but well, i mean it doesn't really affect performance still still gets up there but you know, it's those two things a little little rim rash you know i from sliding it um anything else nope pretty good pretty still in good shape eventually i'm gonna get you know of course i gotta get the back tires Probably get some different rims and I'll get some different uh, front tires as well. And oh yeah, also the blue straw thing that goes, you know, in this little hole right here to hold your antenna up. For some reason, I don't know what happened to that. I lost that. And it's like a plastic little tip piece that goes on your antenna for, I guess, for better reception. For some reason, that broke off too. So, I mean, it still works, but you no, know, once it gets down the street a little bit, it, it tends to cut out, I guess, because it doesn't have the extra extension piece. So, if you guys can let me know uh, how to fix that, or am I out of luck with that? But, yeah, that's pretty much three things that's pretty much damaged. So, that's pretty much it, guys. Until next time, I ain't trying to keep it too boring, but you know, I just wanted to let you, let you guys know what I've done. How I set it up, how I got started, the damages, and pretty much the RC car life. So, till next time, guys.